The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans, High Stick NT, and the Manitoba Pulse and Soybean Pro. We're joined by Greg Bartley, graduate student at uh, the University of Manitoba. Greg is researching residue management prior to uh, to planting soybeans here in Manitoba. And uh, Greg, your research so far might clear up some or show that there are some misconceptions about tillage ahead of uh, ahead of soybeans in in a rotation. Yeah, like right now, I think a lot of the idea is for planting soybeans, you want a black soil. Uh, blacker the better kind of thing to really warm up that soil in the springtime, get those beans in and get a good early start. So my project's kind of looking at that and maybe trying to change the idea of that a bit maybe. Um, right now I'm looking at, so we have five different treatments out here. We have a disc soil, we made it black like everyone likes, but we also have some no-till stuff out here. So we have a couple of stubble treatments where we left the uh, stubble a bit tall, uh, a short stubble, we cut it short. Uh, we have strip till out here, uh, plant soybeans in on 30 inch rows, and we also have a fall ride cover crop we planted in the fall time and then terminated in the springtime at planting. And so you're comparing different factors, emergence, moisture in the in the soil, and ultimately yield at, at the end of the year? You bet, yeah. We're starting right with uh, emergence right after planting, uh, recording soil moisture and soil temperature at 5 and 30 centimeters in the soil uh, throughout the whole growing season. And we're going to take it right to yield where, um, where it matters the most. And what are you finding so far? So far we're finding nothing. Uh, we look across this field behind me and I don't see any tillage, the treatments out here. Trust me, there are treatments out here and I don't see any differences in the beans. Uh, right from the start at planting time to emergence, uh, staging, everything's the same. So I guess we planted this on May 22nd. That's still a normal planting time here in Manitoba for soybeans. Uh, soils are well above that 10 degrees average that we're looking for for planting and uh, we got great emergence here and everything's looking great. So the black soil versus say the, the cover crop or, or the no-till, no major difference so far? No major difference so far this year. Um, last year we had a bit of a yield hit with the rye cover crop uh, but we we're also using a planter that maybe shouldn't be going into a high amount of residue so we fixed that this year, got a planter that goes into high residue, can handle that uh, no hairpin going on, so we had great soil and seed contact, and things are looking great. Um, we're taking that two extremes, that black soil compared to a cover crop where we're covering that soil, has less chance to warm up there, and there's no differences at this point right now, but we'll see what yield has at the end of the season. Right now, for reference, you're actually standing on the, the line, right close to the line between sure. the, the disking and the cover crop? Exactly, yeah. I'm standing in the fall ride cover crop right now, and just behind me in these rows right here, this is the disking treatment. So there's not much of a difference here between the two. Um, I'm not saying you guys need to plant a cover crop or do some no-till here, but maybe get rid of that conception that a black soil, you don't have to till it a couple times, get that soil really black, leave a bit of residue there, and you can still get some great beans coming along. The idea I think here in, in northern growing areas is that the soil warms up faster if it's, it's black. What did you find when looking at, at soil temperatures in spring? That's correct, yeah. no. When you do this year, have your soils black there, they do warm a bit quicker, but when you get to a normal planting time, even at the start of May to mid-May there, um, all these treatments are fairly similar within a degree or two of each other, and uh, no-till conditions, we have a bit lighter soil here, so that might have something to do with it too, but that no-till condition compared to a black soil, that difference isn't very much, and we're still in the well above 10 degrees for that soybeans uh, to be planted into. How about from a, the moisture perspective, there's also the thought that the soil might dry out faster and you can get on the field sooner spring when it's black. For sure, yeah. No, if you have a wet spring, you might have a bit of difficulty, but uh, a no-till condition, you might be able to traffic that a bit better um, if it's still, you got that soil structure there. Um, but you also got to think uh, soil moisture into the growing season as well. Some of these no-till treatments can hold a bit more moisture, especially in the late growing season where you get to R4, R5 when the soybeans need the most water to, for uh, seed fill. Um, that no-till condition can hold a bit more moisture, be available for the plants, and maybe help out your yield there as well. When you're less than ideal conditions, you could have, you could possibly see different more differences than what you're seeing here. I think if we really push this experiment here, plant into cold soil, say uh, plant early May into April or something like that, where um, it's not ideal really for planting soybeans, then I think we might pull some differences here in these treatments. But again, if you wait for that uh, ideal soybean uh, growing week or the mid-May to late May kind of things, when soybeans can be planted, still good uh, planting date, I think you won't see any differences here. Uh, that's at least what we're seeing this year at least. Okay, so I know this is still early so it's probably too early to make a, a best management practice kind of recommendation but 
so far, what would you say is, is showing to make the most sense for, for growers? For sure, yeah, no, we're going to keep this experiment going for a couple of years. We're also going out to Western Manitoba and Melita, so there's still more to be done. Uh, no conclusions could be really be made yet, but it's definitely looking promising that maybe do one last pass of tillage. I'm not saying you have to go with full no-till here, but maybe you don't need that black soil, especially this spring when I had those big wind events, lots of erosion going on. A bit of residue left on the soil can stop that for you and uh, help your soils out. All right, well, thanks for your time.